Part 2. Questions 13 to 22. Section 1. Questions 13 to 17. You will hear five short recordings. Five people are talking about a problem that occurred. For each recording, decide what each speaker is talking about. Write one letter, A to H, next to the number of the recording. Do not use any letter more than once. You will hear the five recordings twice. You have 15 seconds to read the list A to H. Now listen and decide what each speaker is talking about. Thirteen. It was just so embarrassing, the whole thing. I mean, being late's one thing, and I had already got my secretary a phone through and leave a message to say I was running behind schedule. But in the end, I didn't get there at all. And all the other managers were there to see the team show the project and its results. <laughs> oh well. That's how it goes, I guess. Fourteen. Well, I'm certainly not going to forget that in a hurry. What a terrible mistake. It made the whole meeting pointless, really. I can't imagine what they thought of me sitting there with the paperwork for another client. Very unprofessional. I mean, I could still tell them the relevant facts, but I couldn't show them the actual contract. I didn't put it in my briefcase last night. Fifteen. What a lost opportunity. Oh, I should have made a proper note in my diary where I would have seen it instead of just on the back of an old envelope. Anyway, it's too late now. I just didn't remember, and that's that. They'll have given the work to someone else by now. I promised to ring before midday if I was available. Oh, I really need to be better organised. Sixteen. I was so busy preparing all the equipment for the presentation that I didn't notice the time passing. So then I asked reception to call me a taxi. I was still checking the papers when they rang to say it had arrived. But I couldn't believe it when he didn't know where the street was and drove all over the place. They'd already started without me by the time I finally got there. 17. Well, I thought it was a bit strange at the time, but I just took down what I thought I heard on the machine and then made out the order form accordingly. It wasn't until they called back to query the quantity that we realized just what I'd done. Still, we sorted it out before it was too late, so it wasn't a disaster after all. 13. It was just so embarrassing, the whole thing. I mean, being late's one thing, and I had already got my secretary a phone through and leave a message to say I was running behind schedule. But in the end, I didn't get there at all, and all the other managers were there to see the team show the project and its results. <laughs> oh well. And that's how it goes, I guess. Fourteen. Well, I'm certainly not going to forget that in a hurry. What a terrible mistake. It made the whole meeting pointless, really. I can't imagine what they thought of me sitting there with the paperwork for another client. Very unprofessional. I mean, I could still tell them the relevant facts, but I couldn't show them the actual contract. I didn't put it in my briefcase last night. 15. What a lost opportunity. Oh, I should have made a proper note in my diary where I would have seen it instead of just on the back of an old envelope. 
Anyway, it's too late now. I just didn't remember, and that's that. They'll have given the work to someone else by now. I promised to ring before midday if I was available. Oh, I really need to be better organised. Sixteen. I was so busy preparing all the equipment for the presentation that I didn't notice the time passing. So then I asked reception to call me a taxi. I was still checking the papers when they rang to say it had arrived. But I couldn't believe it when he didn't know where the street was and drove all over the place. They'd already started without me by the time I finally got there. Seventeen. Well, I thought it was a bit strange at the time, but I just took down what I thought I heard on the machine and then made out the order form accordingly. It wasn't until they called back to query the quantity that we realized just what I'd done. Still, we sorted it out before it was too late, so it wasn't a disaster after all. Section 2. Questions 18 to 22. You will hear another five recordings. For each recording, decide what the speaker is doing. Write one letter, A to H, next to the number of the recording. Do not use any letter more than once. You will hear the five recordings twice. You have 15 seconds to read the list A to H. Now listen and decide what each speaker is doing. Eighteen. I guess the main weakness is with the image of some of the products. I complained about this last year. With our present strategy, we could find ourselves having problems in the future. We need to turn the situation around, work the market to our advantage. What I'd suggest is a complete review of the way we're approaching the market. I think we should get everyone together and explore all the possibilities. Nineteen. I'm very glad that you can come. I was worried that the invitations were so late that many key people wouldn't be able to make it. We do need your input. Your information is important. I understand you're planning to come by train. The train service can be a bit of a problem, but if you go to Medford Central Station, it's a direct line. That'll take you to Tower Square, and if you give us a call when you arrive, we'll send someone to collect you. Twenty. When I first read the report, I was very disappointed. Our results are well below target, in spite of using the consultants and all the new strategies we've been applying. I can't understand it at all. In order to try and get clear what's going on, I'm going to need input from various sections. What I'd like from you, as soon as you can, is price comparisons for the different regions. I'll also need a report on how useful the consultants' advice was. Twenty-one. No, I mean, they've given me everything I asked for, so I can't really complain about that. They even invited me to come over and check the figures for myself. But I'd rather try to go through them here with you, if you could spare the time. Perhaps you could tell me what you think would be the best thing to do. I'd be really interested in your views. Your experience means you must have dealt with this type of problem before. I just thought I ought to let you know that following the discussion we had last week about staffing levels, I took your recommendation to the board. You've probably heard already that we agreed that we do need to create a new area manager's position. I just wanted to let you know officially that it had been authorised. So now we can contact the recruitment agency and ask them to start looking around. They might have somebody on their books already. Twenty-two. 
Now you'll hear the five recordings again. 18. I guess the main weakness is with the image of some of the products. I complained about this last year. With our present strategy, we could find ourselves having problems in the future. We need to turn the situation around, work the market to our advantage. What I'd suggest is a complete review of the way we're approaching the market. I think we should get everyone together and explore all the possibilities. Nineteen. I'm very glad that you can come. I was worried that the invitations were so late that many key people wouldn't be able to make it. We do need your input. Your information is important. I understand you're planning to come by train. The train service can be a bit of a problem, but if you go to Medford Central Station, it's a direct line. That'll take you to Tower Square, and if you give us a call when you arrive, we'll send someone to collect you. 20. When I first read the report, I was very disappointed. Our results are well below target, in spite of using the consultants and all the new strategies we've been applying. I can't understand it at all. In order to try and get clear what's going on, I'm going to need input from various sections. What I'd like from you, as soon as you can, is price comparisons for the different regions. I'll also need a report on how useful the consultant's advice was. 21. No, I mean, they've given me everything I asked for, so I can't really complain about that. They even invited me to come over and check the figures for myself. But I'd rather try to go through them here with you, if you could spare the time. Perhaps you could tell me what you think would be the best thing to do. I'd be really interested in your views. Your experience means you must have dealt with this type of problem before. 22. I just thought I ought to let you know that following the discussion we had last week about staffing levels, I took your recommendation to the board. You've probably heard already that we agreed that we do need to create a new area manager's position. I just wanted to let you know officially that it had been authorised. So now we can contact the recruitment agency and ask them to start looking around. They might have somebody on their books already.